It's a big stretch up coming for the Rays, currently sitting last place in the AL East. Nine of their next 11 against the Red Sox and the Yankees. Started off against Josh Beckett of all guys, and Beckett in trouble in the third inning. Base is full, and Evan Longoria rockets this into the gap. Everybody get a come in and score, and the Rays offense very good in this one. Longoria, four RBIs, had a home run. 13 runs in all for the Rays offense. I tell you that because the story is really Matt Garza, fifth inning against Kevin Euclid. It's going to sit him down on the inside corner. Then Jason Bay, he's sitting two. Garza perfect through five. Sixth inning, George Kataris waving at one. And then Julio Lugo with two down in the inning. Chops it to third. Longoria the play. And Garza now perfect through six. Leading off the seven. Jacoby Ellsbury, the leadoff man. Great speed. And he it's a little slight liner up the middle. Garza can't field it. Bartlett the big play, but... Not good enough to get the speedy Ellsbury. An infield single breaks up the perfect game and the no-no. Garza comes back up and in on Dustin Pedroia. And then gets Pedroia to hand it to the 4-6-3 double play. Some fire out of Garza. Pedroia, too, who thought he was safe over there at first base. Then, in the eighth inning, Jonathan Van Every, a game-winning home run the night before. This time sitting down. Jason Bay whiffing it one. And that would be all for Garza. Seven and two-thirds, one hit allowed, one walk, ten strikeouts. The Rays one hit the Sox in a blowout victory. 13-0. Every Rays starter had a hit. Michelle Hernandez, the catcher leading the way. He had a home run, four hits, and three RBIs.